So today I'm excited to try the brand new Jean Paul Gaultier Lebo Paradise Garden. There was a lot of anticipation behind this one the second it was released and I think that's because there's a really big following behind just the line in general, just from the brand, but also uh, Le Beau Le Parfum is one that is sold out all the time on discounters. And anytime it does pop up, it sells through quickly. That stuff is in really high demand and it's just hard to get. And so when this one was launched and announced, released, whatever, uh, there's a lot of people wanting to try it. It took me a little bit to get this bottle and um, it's still not fully launched yet in the US, I don't believe, but it's starting to get there. This one came into stock on Fragrance Buy and sold out really quick. I sent out an email and a text alert about it, so a lot of you guys who were on those lists were able to get your own bottle here before most other people have, congratulations. Maybe some of you were on there missed out because it sold through quick, or maybe some of you missed out because you're not on those lists. So anytime something rare or new comes into stock like this, I send out a notification. And again, most of these things go through very quick. So make sure you jump on there. You can get yourself a bottle of this before everybody else does. These new releases have been hitting discounters a lot quicker these days, which is always a big bonus. I guess I'll take a little moment to show the presentation here on the outside before we crack into it. Really cool, really sharp. Nice uh, detail, definitely. And uh, this is still gonna go in the garbage when I'm done, but you know, it is cool to see. Now, getting this out of here without dropping it can be a challenge sometimes, but uh, here we go. There it is, really cool looking bottle. Nice kind of emerald green, which is uh, quite a bit different than the original, which was clear, and then Le Beau Le Parfum, which had a darker gradient to it. Beautiful presentation, I've gotta say, give credit where credit's due here. This does look really sharp. The Le Beaux have a bit more of an angular profile to them, which I prefer. I think they look a little bit cooler, more sharp. I'm excited to try this one out. This one's been hyped up quite a bit already, so um, let's see what we end up with. So, definitely sweet. And immediately I'm getting kind of a, a coconut, somewhat fig smell. Fig, coconut, sweet, kind of slightly fruity, summery deal going on. This is one of those things where when you've smelled the original and the Le Parfum, this kind of ties back to that a little bit. However, I am noticing it doesn't have that overwhelming syrupy sweet pineapple blast that Le Beau Le Parfum has. And that really can tip that one over the edge sometimes and make it to where it's a bit too overbearing for summer use. I find this one is a little bit more uh, mild in terms of just that sweetness. And I'm actually getting a pretty good dose of like a green freshness and aromatic base here. and even some light woods, quite a bit of musk. And again, going back to it, at least to me, almost like a slight coconut fig uh, combination there off the top. We'll go and take a look at the full note breakdown here. Uh, let me get it pulled up. I haven't looked yet, so give me one second. I should have prepared better. Okay, here we go. This is according to Fragrantica. Their note breakdowns in the past have been known to be off, especially when something is first released. So we'll go here first, and if this doesn't make any sense, then maybe I'll look on the official website, although sometimes it doesn't pull up because I'm in the US. Up top, we have watery notes, green notes, mint and ginger. In the mid, we have coconut, fig, and salt. In the base, we have sandalwood and tonka bean. So, makes sense. The green notes, pretty broad, but true, great descriptor, is prominent, and it's kind of like a, a leafy, uh, watery green twist. Not a seaweed aquatic deal, but more so like a, a slight neroli leaf, petty grain kind of texture to it. And then what else was there up top? Mint, which is kind of aiding to that green smell. I could see that, although to me, it's almost more of like a geranium style green rather than a mintiness. This doesn't have the same type of mint as something like Eros does 
or even the original Lamal, going all the way back to that. Um, ginger, a little bit of a spicy kick, I suppose, although not too strong. Now, where it's notable here in the mid, the coconut and the fig, that comes through a lot. Again, that was one of the first things I picked up on. I'm not the biggest fan of fig. It's one of my least favorite notes. So for me, that's the one drawback to this scent. I just don't like that note that much. Coconut, I'm honestly not the hugest fan of either. It depends on how it's done. In this case here, it's done to my liking to where it's not too overbearing and, and there's a lot of other balance going on with it. So it's not just a coconut bomb. There's other things to supplement that. There's some salt there in the mid as well and then sandalwood tonka bean in the base giving it a little bit of a sweetness, a little bit of a woodiness like I referenced there. The tonka bean is nowhere near as strong as in a lot of other modern men's releases where it's super, super powdery and sweet. It's again a bit more mild. I do like this one a lot. Is it going to take place of, you know, Le Beau Le Parfum for me or other people? I think it would depend. Again, that one that I keep referencing, Le Beau Le Parfum, super hyped up. It's a lot more sweet than this. And again, using pineapple, which is non-existent here. So it's gonna be one of those deals where if you want a sweeter, more summer gourmand, that would be for you. I do think this is a little bit more of a traditional approach on a spring summer scent. Maybe more so spring, but this would work in the summer. Again, it's more green, it's more aromatic. The coconut and the fig is giving it that summery feel um, that you would expect from something like this, but it doesn't push it over to where it's too sweet. This one's coming in at an eau de parfum concentration. We'll have to see about performance here overall, longevity and projection. So far, it's having a good amount of presence. And this is something where typically in first impressions, I can kind of get a good read on a scent if I think it's gonna do well or not. In this instance here, I think it's gonna be a good performer. Is it gonna be absolutely beast mode like, you know, Ultra Male or Lamal Elixir or something? I don't know for sure, but the projection is taking me by surprise. I'm going in for smells like this just to get a closer up read on it so I can break it down better, but like I can smell it just as I'm standing right now. No need to actually bring it close to me to be able to smell this. So that's a good thing. That means it's pushing out pretty well. And again, that was only, I believe it was one spray, maybe one and a half, two sprays that I ended up doing on my hand there in the beginning. But if you were really trying to get a lot of distance and performance out of this one, you could really go pretty heavy on the sprays. I like it. I think it's gonna be a really good hit. Yet another hit from Jean-Paul Gaultier expanding the Lamal lineup and the Lebo lineup. I know they're separate entities, but come on, they're all kind of running together a little bit here. Again, this one is going to be in high demand. There is such a cult following for Le Parfum that you know that's gonna follow through to this. So if you want any sort of fighting chance of getting a bottle for yourself, jump on my mailing list, texting list at the link and down, number down below. The second it restocks, I will send out a notification and you will be able to grab your bottle, hopefully as long as you're quick. But if you're not on those lists, you're missing out on deals, uh, new fragrances, hitting discounters quickly, rare discontinued fragrances popping up um, often. Happens more often than you would think. So jump on there, it's completely free to sign up. There's Paradise Garden, I'm excited about it. Um, hopefully they continue to be on a roll with these because again, these are pretty good. I gotta give them credit. This one might just make it pretty high up in my uh, upcoming top 10 spring designer fragrances video. So stay tuned for that one as well. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.